morning, y'all. Happy weekend. Come spend a weekend with me. We're gonna have so much fun. Your girl needs company because my parents are actually out of town for the weekend. <laughs> my parents are out of town. Let's go, Ranger. Ranger. This weekend is just me and Elvis. We're gonna be hanging out. My parents are enjoying an extended weekend stay in none other than Las Vegas. I'm actually so jealous. They're seeing UB40 tonight. Tonight? And didn't invite me. But it's fine. No, I'm joking. Um, I would have invited myself if I didn't actually have stuff to do this weekend, but I do have a couple things. But yeah, today it's Friday. I was up earlier doing some editing in bed. What is it? What's up? Mark my words, I will be coming back to my laptop and working more later on. I'm gonna get changed though for a workout. We're hitting legs today. I already picked out my outfit, which I'm kind of excited for. I knew I wanted to wear this power washed tee from Gymshark. It's from the men's section, but love these t-shirts. And I figured why not go for like an earthy vibe. So these little shorts. Oh, this shirt is like super oversized. Pretty sure it's a large. Boy, what is going on? I don't know how people do such a nice tuck of the shirt. I've never mastered that. Oh, what? Subtle tuck is what we're settling with. Here you go, buddy. Buddy, oh, it's my buddy. My buddy for the weekend. My buddy forever. All right, y'all, let me take you through this fire, fire leg day. It was simple, but effective, and I loved it. First, I'm starting off with, I did like eight to 10 minutes here on the bike. I love just picking two or three songs that I'm currently loving, doing little sprints in and out of the saddle, playing around with resistance, just having fun with it. I'm definitely gonna use this as a warm up more often. First, I'm starting off with hip thrusts and the machine here at my gym just makes hip thrusts so much easier because I don't have to set up the whole barbell situation. I haven't had to do that in so long. Basically, I just load the weights, buckle up and thrust away. So I did a warm up set with a lighter weight and then I did add on to go heavier. I did four sets, about eight to 10 reps, and then I did throw in a 10 second hold. So I'm really squeezing at the top here and it burns so good and then we're moving on to a super set where I did need these heavier dumbbells because we're starting off with dumbbell RDLs simple hip hinge movement slight bend in the knees we're pretending like we're pushing a door closed behind us reaching for something right in front of us just imagining that I'm like ripping apart my glutes I feel like that really helps fire it up I'm doing 10 reps here and then I'm dropping the weight and I'm just doing this body weight exercise which is alternating B stance squats so you can see I'm just stepping back with either foot using that back foot as a kickstand squatting so the front leg is doing majority of the work and I'm just switching back and forth I did eight per side so I counted to 16 and I repeated that superset four times <laughs> I've been loving the leg press machine lately, so we're doing that next. I've done a couple leg days with my friend Julia, and she had us do the leg press, and we just went about our first three sets like normal. 10, 12 reps with a decently heavy weight, and then on the last set, she had us do 25 reps. So it was like a burnout demolisher set, I guess. Felt very much like what The Rock would do. <laughs> I think he goes for like some crazy high number of reps in his workouts. So a lot of volume. For that last set, I did do 25 and my legs were shaking. In my head, I'm just counting five sets of five. I feel like it helps make the counting go a bit faster. But yeah, that was the leg press. And then moving on, my last exercise is going to be the adductor machine, or no, abductor machine. We're pushing the weight away from our body. I'm doing four sets of 15 reps here. My gym just installed these new machines that literally counts your reps and also times your sets slash rests. So it's like very high tech. I was shocked when I first saw this. But yeah, just the abductors to finish. That was today's workout. Let me know if you guys try this out. I'm a 
say that was a fantastic leg day. I feel like I really crushed it. I don't know if hitting legs was the smartest thing for me to do, considering I have volleyball on Sunday. My team is scrimmaging a bunch of other teams and I'm gonna be playing a lot of volleyball. So we'll see how I feel. I'll check in with you guys in a couple days. But yeah, that was great, it was sweaty. It's heavy. I'm showered. It is time to eat. Today's meal is brought to you by dun, 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 Green Chef. Thank you to Green Chef for partnering with me on this video. So Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company. They deliver easy to make meals right to your doorstep. There are so many healthy, delicious meals to choose from. Whether your lifestyle leans more towards keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean and or gluten free. This time around I opted for protein packed options. And so after some deliberation, I've decided on the chicken burrito bowl with queso. Especially after a lift, I feel like this just sounds so good. Everything I need is in this bag. It's only gonna take me 25 minutes. Each box comes with instructions on how to make the meals, as well as perfectly portioned ingredients. Green Chef offers organic produce, premium proteins, and sustainably sourced seafood, so you can feel good about what you're using to cook, what you're putting in your body, and how it got to your table. You can schedule your deliveries as well as opt out of them if you are out of town, for example. If you're like me and you're in need of some healthy recipes or you just wanna learn how to cook, you can use my code ChrisHuey50 for 50% off your first box plus free shipping. You guys can check out greenchef.com for more details. I'll have that link down below. Here is my chicken bowl all complete. And I have an extra serving, so I'm gonna have that for dinner. <laughs> that works out perfectly. Everything tastes so fresh. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> I need to show my mom. This is so good. Wow. I have some errands to run this morning. I have to package up some Poshmark orders. My box of things are listed on my Poshmark, which if you didn't know, I do have one. I need to update it soon, or I need to do a closet clean out. Again, again. Love when people bundle items because then I can give a bunch of new pieces, a new home, all in one. Plus it saves you a lot on shipping because I know Poshmark shipping can get pretty expensive. me yeah last night i got a gymshark package and these are all the new releases i think by the time this video goes up all of this stuff will have been released so that's exciting oh my gosh elvis just keeps walking in and out of frame he's he's a busy boy i think today i'm gonna wear this bright pink vital seamless set because later on in the evening i'm going to see the barbie movie with some of my girlfriends so very fitting vital is definitely one of my favorite lines from Gymshark. This one specifically is super stretchy and obviously the colors vibrant, gorgeous. I did an unboxing and showed a lot of these things in a reel slash TikTok. Showed basically everything on there but just some other picks. Wow. Do we see this blue? <gasps> Cobalt blue. I love that Gymshark has been expanding into other things other than just workout stuff. I mean this is still workout stuff but not so gym specific like Pickleball, golf, you can catch me in this. This is a new style from Gymshark. It's just a deep V tank top, but it's so stretching comfortable. There he goes again. It comes in so many colors too. I'm excited for it all, but this pairing specifically, green adapt flex shorts, this light sage ruche bra. Green tea matcha moment, mm -mm -mm. But for my workout today, we are gonna be wearing this, so. Let's put it on. All right, here's the outfit. I have been procrastinating getting to the gym, but it's actually better that I waited because I'm gonna meet up with my friend Julia and we're gonna do full body together. I just took forever to decide what I even wanted to do. Part of me wanted to just do something outside, maybe go for a run, do my jump ropes, or just stick to the plan, do a lift. Julia texted me and I was like, okay, this is my sign to go to the gym. Spent some time this morning, take some pictures for Instagram in this outfit. I think they turned out pretty cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait, it's actually so sunny. What? <gasps> oh, this is so nice. I hear all this approaching. <laughs> Every time I open this backyard door, here he comes. Hey, hi. I thought you were napping. You want some sunshine too, don't ya? Don't ya? I have a good 30 minutes or so before I'm meeting my friend. 
So I'm just pulled up at this park. There's actually a soccer soccer game happening. I'm just pulled off to the edge and I'm gonna do a little cross rope workout, which I talked about in a video previously. I've used them so much. Weighted jump rope workout. Let's go. It is later. Oh my gosh, I barely even had time to do anything. So I came home from my workout, which we kind of worked out, but it was more so just, we just, we, we ended up just chatting a lot, which tends to happen, but it's all good. A little bit of movement is better than none. So as soon as I got home though, I had to eat, start getting ready. I am going to see the Barbie movie tonight. So that's why I've been rocking the pink all day. This halter top is actually from Gymshark, believe it or not. It's from Whitney Simmons' previous collection or her latest collection. So soft, so cute. Probably not the most practical thing to wear to a movie theater because I don't want my bare skin to be on the seat. So I don't know, is this too dressy? I really don't know what the vibes are today, but I'm like, the oversized blazer is a nice thing to just throw over my shoulders. We may or may not get a drink afterwards too, so I want to be somewhat dressed for that. I don't know. Honestly, I have a matinee girly through and through. If it were up to me, I would watch a movie at like 12 at noon and then I come out and it's still bright out. Otherwise, I'm just risking falling asleep because I'm notorious for doing so. The movie's at 6, which is right on the cusp if it was 7. I think that's a little tricky. 6 p.m. should be fine. By 8 o'clock, it'll still be bright out because it's summer. It really depends on the movie for me. If it's something that I'm not really interested in to begin with, I'm probably gonna fall asleep. But Barbie, Barbie I can get behind. If it's a series, sequel, whatever, like the latest Spider-Man that came out, stayed up for that. The last Batman movie I saw in theater, couldn't tell you what happened. Mm -mm. I was knocked out. I don't think I've ever been so dressed up for a movie before. It's really not that uncomfortable of an outfit, so I think I'll be okay. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday and we're up in Adam. I just went for a walk with Elvis. My skin. It's been doing pretty, been doing pretty good. Okay. Today it's Sunday. I'm heading out because I have volleyball. Typically on Sundays we practice at around like 9, 10 a.m. But today we're doing a, not a tournament, but it's gonna be basically a bunch of scrimmages. I might've mentioned this in the video already, but there should be nine teams or something. And we're just gonna rotate through like round robin, play each other, which is gonna be good because we definitely need practice playing other teams, like a full side of six other girls. Our tournament is then literally, a month. I'm just getting my bag together. Oh, what's in my volleyball bag? I use this Gymshark backpack. Love, super sleek, minimal branding. Well, not really minimal. It's written in big black letters, but it's black on black. Got a nice little keychain here. I have a water bottle. One of my water bottles has a lot of bottles. <laughs> I keep my shoes in a bag so that it's not directly inside my backpack. These are my Katie, I don't even know. Katie 11s, Katie 10s? Katie 11s, I think. My shoes are from like three years ago now, but because I only really play in the summertime, they're still in good condition. Still white, still grippy. I also have a knee brace in here, which I've been wearing because my knees are feeling a little rickety, rickety. It's not like a sharp pain, but it's not a nice feeling. I'll put it that way. This thing keeps me feeling snug. I love it. Um, so, pack that. I've got my lineup of drinks set up. I'm gonna bring this with me. So I have water. I have pre-workout. Just a full thing of water with one scoop of sour blue gummy. Pre-workout from Beam. You can slip on this, get little doses of energy. And I have my coffee, which I'll have on my way to the facility. Pack a snack. I have no idea when we're gonna end today, but I know that we're gonna probably go out for dinner or like, Hopefully it's a late lunch. I'm looking forward to it already.
expensive trees like it's your expertise touch by v you know it's blessed and baby i need you we gotta run away but you run